Hello everyone, my name is Melody and I'm one of the Friendly Customer Service Specialists here at Palsy Buff Incorporated. Today I'm going to talk to you about the DigiB Flash Unit. Uh, the DigiB is the newest addition to our line of self-contained mono lights. As you can see, the DigiB is very small and very compact, so it is excellent for on-location work as well as work in pretty much any studio space. Uh, we offer the DigiB in two output powers. We have the DigiB 400 and then we we have a DigiB 800. In this video today, we'll be using the DigiB 800. The 400 operates the exact same way. It's just a stop less in power. Uh, the DigiB also comes in four different housing colors. Uh, today we'll be using uh, the red, which is my personal favorite, but we also offer blue, green, and black. Both DGB flash units have seven f-stop power variability, which means you can increase or decrease the output of the light just depending on how much power you need for any given application. Both DGB flash units have a high intensity 400 watt equivalent LED modeling lamp. So you can also use them for video work as well as continuous lighting. And in fact, that's how we're lighting this video today. Uh, both DGB flash units do have an audible fan that runs continuously. So just something to keep in mind if you will be using them for video work. And next, I'm going to show you how to use the DGB flash unit. We'll begin with removing the protective shipping cap from the front of the DigiB. You'll do this by squeezing together these top release levers here. Make sure to remove the shipping cap every time you use the DigiB because if you leave this in place, uh, it will melt. Once I've removed the protective shipping cap, I can now turn on the DigiB from the back control panel here. And we'll start with the flash button. The flash button is used to toggle the DigiB in and out of flash adjustment mode. When the DigiB is in flash adjustment mode, it can be used as a flash unit for still photography. I can also use these up and down adjust buttons to be able to increase or decrease the output of the DigiB. If I need to make a larger adjustment in either direction, I can press and hold the adjust button. That allows me to make larger adjustments in either direction. If you would like to use the DigiB as a continuous light, you are able to turn off the flash feature by pressing and holding the flash button until off shows on the DigiB's display. And that means that you've now turned off the flash and the DigiB can be used as a continuous light. The DigiB's modeling lamp has four different modes that can be uh, a toggle between using the model button. When the lightning bolt icon glows blue, that means that the DigiB's modeling lamp is now in track mode. And track mode simply means that when the DigiB is in flash adjustment mode and you make any adjustments to increase or decrease the flash output of the unit, the modeling lamp will automatically increase or decrease as well to track the output of the flash. When the bulb with the circular arrow in it is uh, glowing blue, that means that the DigiB's modeling lamp is set to model adjustment mode. And model adjustment mode just means that you can actually adjust the model output of the DigiB independent of the flash output. Once again, using these up and down adjust buttons. When the solid light bulb is glowing blue, that means that the DigiB, uh, DigiB's modeling lamp is in full power mode. Um, and that simply means that the modeling lamp is at full power all of the time. And you can, of course, turn the modeling lamp off if you do not need to use it at all. The DigiB has two recycle indicators that can be used when the light is in flash adjustment mode. When the music note is highlighted blue, that means that the DigiB will beep when it's ready to be flashed again, as we can hear there. When we have the solid light bulb, that means that the DigiB's modeling lamp will turn off and then turn back on as a visual indicator that the DigiB is ready to flash again. Or I can opt to have it do both. I can opt to have both an audible and a visual indicator that the DigiB uh, is ready to be fired. The slave cell in the DigiB can be toggled on and off by pushing the slave button. When the blue LED to the right of the slave button glows blue, that means that the slave cell is turned on, which means that the DigiB will res respond to any flash of light that it sees from any other light source. So that means if you have other lights in your setup, you can use those to optically trip the DigiB without the use of cords or wires or anything like that. 
The frequency button is used uh, to set the frequency when you're using our wireless CyberSync system. You can press this button here to set the frequency. Um, that system does require the CyberSync transceiver module, which is sold separately. The channel button is used with our Cyber Commander wireless transmitter. Uh, once again, that does require the CyberSync transceiver sold separately. This is the test fire button. When you press this button, all that does is that will test fire your DigiB. The DigiB also has a 1 8 inch sync jack located on the bottom of the unit, um, so you're able to use the 15 foot sync cord that comes with the light if you would like to attach the DigiB directly to your camera. I hope everybody found this video helpful. If you have any other questions at all, feel free to give us a call. We're at 1 800 443 55 4-2. We're here Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. You can also send us an email at info at paulcbuff.com. See you later.